So today I thought it would be fun to take a dip into some of my extraneous skills from outside of YouTube and look at some sports stuff. And I realise how contradictory this is uh, because I'm so completely not coordinated but I have been at some points in my life sporty and in fact coached a number of sports including rugby. It's important to clarify at this point I think that the rugby that I coached was non-contact my dad was a full rugby coach. He coached big teams in Ireland. I, meanwhile, worked for the IRFU with kids' schools and I also worked with tiny, tiny top people, uh, like tiny, like two and three year olds, teaching them the basics of rugby. I've been wanting to watch American football for a really long time because of the similarities to rugby and also the differences. I mean, obviously, it's kind of strange to rugby fans that you guys wear all that padding and stuff. On the surface of it, it makes you guys seem like pansies, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm curious to see if there's a good reason for all the padding. I mean, rugby players take hits too, so yeah. I'm very much coming into this a noob to American football. I've never seen a game before. I've always wanted to watch a game on here, but I was never sure what game to watch, and then it seems your games go on a really long time. Maybe it'd be fun to watch a football game with some kind of football YouTuber at some point in time, we'll see. What do I know about American football? I know you guys have hella style. You guys look amazing. Football is war. They have the cheerleaders, so there's a lot of hype around it. I know schools, American football is humongous. Before I get into the video, do be sure to subscribe. Otherwise, the next time you go to eat fruit, it'll be bruised and brown. How disappointing for you should you like fruit. So subscribe to avoid that fate. Okay, let's jump into it. Uh, this is going very fast. I'm going to watch it at half speed, I think. Is that possible? Yes. Right to the head. That's an illegal maneuver in rugby. People do it, but it's illegal. Ball. What? Okay, I'm gonna pause this right here. I have a few questions for you in comments. Are you allowed to hit people in the head because in rugby you're not allowed to tackle people uh above the shoulders it happens um but it can get you kicked off the pitch and um also you're not supposed to tackle people who don't have the ball so are these illegal plays or um is this just how american football works i can immediately see a need for the pads because people seem to be going straight in with their heads <laughs> Right to the head. Okay, it seems to me the pads just exacerbate the violence rather than protect from the already violent nature of the sport. Oh, that would, oh, did you ever get winded so bad? Now, does the whole game stop after a big tackle? I heard that there's a lot of stop start in American football. Jesus. His helmet came off! Oh my god! His helmet came off. What's the point of the hel- All the helmets are coming off. If they keep coming off. I always wondered, would they- obscure your vision somewhat. Two of them went at him from different angles. You could be very, very badly hurt. That looked like some kind of legendary game. I'm very fascinated by the fact that they seem to have two people coming in with a strategy to tackle someone. I mean, that does happen in rugby too, but 
It's very coordinated in this. Right for the head! Laugh, because I don't know what the end result of some of these injuries was. Are people generally okay? People are full flipping! I was also a gymnastics coach. Is that a female player or... Like he went, he went head over heels. What? Oh. Because we're watching this in half speed, I can imagine these hits are even harder than they look. Did he kick him when he was on the ground? I'm sure that's not allowed. After some of these hits, the people legitimately look like they don't know where they are. There are very similar skill sets for rugby and American football I'm seeing. Um oh my oh my god, he went halfway across the pitch. I'm wondering in rugby it's also important that you be very fit. But I'm wondering with all the stop starting, do you need to have as much endurance for a football game? Um because I, I know in, in teen movies, which is a reference for me with American football, you see, Jesus, you see a lot of um, very large people playing American football and I guess their job is just to do hits like this. I, I can see why it's a young person's game. You wouldn't take those hits for too long. <laughs> Oh, I think he did that thing where, where when you get injured, you go completely stiff. And that's like a really bad sign. Uh, that's, that would be called a dump tackle in rugby. Also, the dodging is very similar. Oh my god, that was like four guys on one. Right, shoulders right to the f head, that's not okay. Is that allowed? And the helmets are off again. I can see why there's a lot of stopping. He was in the air. It's a lot of long haired players. I know that's not what we're looking at, but it's just interesting. In rugby, if you had long hair, you'd want your hair up because it's dangerous. To get a full understanding of the game, I'm going to watch these last couple in full speed, I think. Oh, 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 Jesus, I mean, what can you say, that was three on one, oh, it's like, like, it's like full speed running into a house, in a lot of these cases, oh, and I gotta imagine some of these are school ones, are they? Oh my god, babies! Oh. Yeah, with our babies, our tots and rugby, we definitely, it's no contact. Um, pretty much, I think, until you get to secondary school. As school goes up in junior school, that they experiment with tackling and stuff, learn a few things on the pad. You're definitely not teaching five-year-olds how to do dump tackles, let's put it that way. That was very enlightening. Um, 
I see the reason for the pads and the helmets now if those maneuvers were actually uh, legal within the game. I'm not sure if they were though. I don't think that the pads make what's already happening safer. I think it just enables the players to be more dangerous with their tackling and stuff, which is interesting. Is rugby or American football more hardcore? I think it's difficult to say because there's not as much stopping in rugby. Um, but it's definitely fresh watching it for the first time. I am very surprised at the violence. Although, what did I expect? What did I expect? Chewie's gonna shout out a couple of people if he's awake at another point in time. Hello everybody, today I want to thank some people who have chosen to support us on PayPal. The first person is Curtis, then there's Conrad, Dennis, Kim, Alex, Michael, Paul, Sean and Nicholas. Thank you so much guys, it is so appreciated and I will buy some treats now with it. Hooray! Back to mommy. So have a great weekend, I'll see you on the other side, bye. By the way, I'm really sorry if you can hear buzzing in the background. My neighbours seem to be knocking down their house. They're very loud next door, aren't they? What are they doing? Are they building a new house? Maybe a garden? Maybe a park? Huh? Will you be watching the football? Good. What do you think of American football? Oh, you just want to run away. Run away!